Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a handy Santa Fe guys and you need to remove or replace coolant temperature sensors. Stay with us, we'll explain where it's located, how to remove it, how to replace it and what you should always do after you replace the sensor. Make sure you stand till the end because if you don't do that step, you can severely overheat your engine, damage it and may end up needing a new engine. So, you don't need to remove your engine out guys out of the vehicle to do that we removed it due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars so let's explain how to replace that coolant temperature sensor now so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel out to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this specifically guys here is an engine 2.4 GDI out of a 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe but as I said you should work on the whole generation so number one thing guys every time you remove the coolant temperature sensor you will leave coolant out you have to make sure that you do that on completely cold car okay let it sit overnight to cool make sure you don't have okay uh, hot coolant later easily guys very easily and keep away open okay the radiator cap only when the coolant is cold guys okay you can see it tells here and when you open it guys make sure you don't have any pressure okay and when you don't okay just leave it open and then you need to drain your cooling system if you want to see how to drain the cooling system we have the video on the channel where the drain drain plug is located and all that stuff so check it out you will need to drain the coolant because otherwise all the coolant will leak out and there is one more thing that you need to do but before we continue guys okay many of you recently asked me to recommend a scanner for diagnostics okay this is one of the best one that we use guys so uh we'll guys i'll put the link in the description of the video below okay where you can get it from so please check it out it works on almost any car you can think of you can see hyundai is right here it's a tube that can pay itself off in one time use so we have our coolant drained now we're going to remove the upper engine cover We'll grab it, pull it out. And if you look right here, guys, on the back side of the engine, okay, on the right side, we need to be a little bit more gentle next time. Okay, right here, you can see that's your coolant temperature sensor. Check it out on the right side of the engine, okay, right here. So, now what you will need to do, guys, in order to access it, okay, what we'll recommend is to actually remove the intake holes, okay the intake holes so how you can do that okay you can go ahead guys okay and get it loose from the air filter box you have one uh, one uh, mount like that one and uh, get the one on the total body loose as well okay that's what we did remove that uh, hose clamp right here that we have we pulled it to the side and now we can pull the holes okay and we have all that room now check it out what we have here now okay that right here is the coolant temperature sensor so how do you guys remove it okay that we're going to disconnect it later you have that spring here guys that okay let me focus quick one second that spring you need to gently guys okay get a screwdriver lift it up pull it down make sure you don't have coolant in the system okay and now we can grab that sensor okay let's explain now how you're going to grab the sensor and just pull it out it may be stuck because it has an o-ring that prevents it from coming out coolant from coming out so you will see it's a little bit stuck you need to just grab it and pull it guys okay and that's the coolant temperature sensor press down here and release it and pull it out and this is it that's how you guys remove it installation is exactly in reverse order we took it apart but now there is one more thing that you need to do when you put it together you need to install it put the locking spring here 
connect the wire and you need to add coolant and not just add coolant you need to bleed the cooling system bleed the air out of the cooling system if you don't bleed the cooling system the correct way you may end up having an air pocket in the engine that can cause the engine to overheat guys and you may end up needing the engine rebuilt or a new engine so i recommend guys okay check out uh, we'll have a video on the channel coming very soon once we put it together how to bleed the cooling system hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time